Okay, so in the video, I have stitched this thing together. You could call me Dr. Frankenstein because what I'm trying to do is make sure I give you everything. And because I'm recording myself, I don't have anybody to like hold a camera and actually go around and do all that good stuff. It kind of makes it hard for me to do some things that are tutorials. So I did my best to try to share what I'm doing. And, and you'll notice in the video, I'm, I'm telling you about some things. But I'm going to include some pictures that I took. And I'll put those pictures on the front part to show you... I bought a shadow box. It was a 10 by 10 shadow box and it didn't work out. So I returned that back to Hobby Lobby and went to Michael's, which you'll hear me state in the other parts of the videos. So uh, hopefully I only mentioned it once in one of the other parts. And yes, it's dim in here because I am i don't want to turn the light on. I'm getting ready to do a little relaxing and unwind in here. And uh, I don't want all the light. So I just wanted to tell you that and again, in, when you hear it, please accept my apology for the redundancy, but you know, at least if you walk away from the video, you might not miss anything because I may say a few of the same things along the way. I'm not being exactly repetitive all the way through. It's just that by me recording in segments, that's what happened. So I always like to explain stuff and maybe I explain too much. I don't know, but I'm just, I just like to explain myself sometimes. So I'm telling you that I'm going to put the information, as I mentioned, in the description box. I'll list out everything that I use and uh, I'll put pictures of the, the um, display box that I did use. And I guess that's it. All right. Here we go. OK, real quick, I'm going to run through these items that I was originally using when I was going to put the shoes in the shadow box, which ended up being too small. Um, the things I purchased from Hobby Lobby are the 10 by 10 shadow box, the 5 by 7 photo frame, the two pieces of black felt, and the blue uh, tissue paper. I took the the um, shadow box back and got a refund, and I ended up getting a display case from Michaels, which ended up costing me less. And I used coupons for both, so let's always make sure we use our coupons. And I have um, my brother's shoes. I have a miniature Rubik's Cube and a Slinky, which I purchased from Party City and I'm not using. It's a board ribbon, which I already had. Tissue paper, uh, shoe shine to buff the shoes out. And uh, the two weights that came from Party City as well. And that's it. Bits and pieces, I'm going to show you what I'm doing um, for my brother's birthday. I actually had a shadow box and the shoes didn't fit so well in a 10 by 10 so I went and bought this case, which actually is a baseball case. And you can put three baseballs in it on display. Baseball display is what I should call it. It has a mirror in the background there, as you can see me moving. And what I did was I, I printed up some pictures and made like a little collage. And I put the date of his birth and stuff in there. And then I, I made up a poem because I feel that I'm quite the little poet. <laughs> and nobody else knows it so I did that and then I had a frame that I bought a five by seven and what you see is on the inside I pushed that glass back into um, the back into the middle of that glass and covered it with the glass from the frame so that the picture wouldn't suffer any consequences over the years to come and as you can see I've got my lights my LED lights and I'm going to frame around in here. And then I'm going to put the shoes in here right in the front. And I have a little cube. And I just got to thinking I got to put some more pictures in the cube. I don't know what I did with that cube. Hold on a second. I want to show you that too. I might have stuck it in this bag somewhere. Hold on. Oh, might be showing you too much. Hold on a second. Okay, I can feel it. Here we go. So I got this cube and I'm going to put pictures of him that um, he's not going to remember that I took because I took some pictures of him and some of the pictures I didn't take. But what I'm going to do is put the pictures all the way around in here. Right. And I I'll, I'll, I'll probably won't put one on the top just around in here because this is a baseball cube, you know, so you can hold, you know, your baseball. I mean, your golf ball. I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'm going to stick this in here somewhere 
inside of this. And I'll show you what it looks like in the end. I'm stuffing the shoes too with blue tissue paper. And uh, I gotta figure the rest of that out too. So we'll get it together. All right, that's an original shoestring. If you'll notice, one has the lace and one doesn't. And that's because when my mom gave me the suitcase and I opened it up and discovered his shoes, one shoe had a lace and one didn't. He might have taken it out when he was small, who knows. All right, so I'll show you what the end result looks like in a bit. So this is what I ended up doing with the case. And it's not quite what I wanted it to be, but it's, it's close enough. You know how you you have a vision and you know what you want things to look like. And when I bought the shadow box from Hobby Lobby, it was a 10 by 10 shadow box. And so I knew I wasn't going to be able to put these shoes in it like I have them here in this um, display. So what I did was I returned that shadow box back to Hobby Lobby after I had gone to Michael's and I made a purchase of this um golf uh i'm sorry baseball display and um the, di the the baseball display in case anyone's looking for one of these comes with the three holders and actually this is this is what they are right here i got them turned upside down but uh you get three of these to put your baseballs in so um uh -oh, let me decrease that a little bit so uh, I got this, and as you can see, I have a cord running out. This is for the remote control for the um, lights because I wanted lights inside of the shadow box. And so I, I thought, well, I still want that in this. And the case, if you'll notice, has a mirror in the background. Now, I wanted to do something different with the tissue paper, but if I put that up too high, you wouldn't be able to read the poem that I created in the background. And uh, just a few little pictures that I put in there and his date of birth and all that stuff. So um, I shot a video a little earlier, but I, I, I thought, well, it wasn't really clear because I had stuff all over the place. So I will list out everything that I use. And I'm sorry I didn't record it as I was putting it together. But as you can say, it's fairly simple. I didn't really have to do too much. And I've already been up late enough. The biggest part for me was I took the little um, golf ball cube and put his pictures in it, but it wouldn't fit in there without, I mean, y'all have no idea. I got those lights in there, but I didn't have a drill when I put that hole in, which was um, this weekend. So I took an X-Acto knife and, and I had traced a circle and I cut the hole out. So... Hopefully that won't look too bad in the background. You really can't see it here anyway. But um, I do like the lights that I purchased. And, and just so you know, this is all glass here. And the back of that is the mirror. And it lifts right off. So it comes up like that. And I'll, like I said, I'll list everything. The shoes won't move. If you'll notice, those shoes aren't moving. They aren't going anywhere because I use this tape. It's an adhesive tape, a permanent, clear, double-sided, photo-safe tape, it says. So it's really good. I stuck it on the bottom of the shoes, and it's working perfect. And uh, just in case you're wondering, I ordered the lights off of uh, Amazon, and this is what I received. And uh, it came real quick, too, so that was pretty good as well. As you'll notice, some of these are waterproof. Mine says non-waterproof, which I thought that was okay because this has no business being near water. And um, what else? In the background with the pictures, I bought a 5 by 7 frame. And what I ended up doing was taking the frame off and just taking the picture and putting the glass over the top of it and pressing it in i haven't even i didn't glue that in or anything i just kind of pushed it and beveled it in there so it's in place it's really it's a really tight fit and it was perfect so i was really happy about that and then the frame for the five by seven i used under the bottom of this if you can see that frame i put it on the bottom of this because i needed this to be lifted because i drew i cut that hole as you can see here for the cord to come out and in order for that to sit just leveled and perfect, I had to get it up off from being flushed. So that's what I use that for. I told you all, we, you know what? We become very creative and inventive when we're doing things. 
because you, there's no reason that we <laughs> we can't work it out. And that's exactly what we do. And so my cord is out this way. And I just figured that way when he unplugs it or whatever he wants to do, he can uh, neatly put this away. And he can even tuck it up under here if necessary. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, because I'm recording this myself, I couldn't show you a step-by-step -step of what I was doing. I wish I could have. But today... Uh, because I was working on this this evening. Hold on a second. I want to show you something. Because I was working on this this evening. Trying to get it done. Because like I have a few other projects to work on. I promised I would devote time to getting this done. Because my brother's birthday is coming up this weekend. So my lights came with a remote. And this is what this is for. You hook this in. As you can see I've done that. And it's plugged in. So here's your remote. And I thought this was pretty neat. Hit that bad boy and turn those lights on. Hold on. There you go. I hit the wrong button. That's the power. So you can flip those lights on. And you can uh, you can bring that thing up to 100%, 50%, 25%. And then you have modes. See there? Got different modes. I hope I'm not hurting someone's eyes. I just wanted to show you how this works. I thought it was kind of neat to have the lights in there like that. So, because I was going to use these lights in the um, shadow box, I knew it would be even better in this because that glass was in the background of that one. So, and then you see you got speeds. You can speed it up or you can slow it down. Which one is which? That's the slow it down. And then... Let's see what this is about. Okay. And you can hit this and just go back to a straight mode. And that's good. Let's see. That's the brightest. We'll take it down. And that's that. I'll just hit that to turn it right back off. So I thought that was pretty neat. And uh, I showed you already that this is the lights. These are the lights that I purchased. Um... In terms of, I use the uh, glue stick, but I use the glue stick uh, for the um, the cube to put the pictures in. I just put a little dab on all the pictures, and that was that. But I'm not even putting that on the inside. So basically, I bought um, the balloon weights, you know, that you get. Let me tell you something. I actually could have went and got some rocks and bagged them up and put them inside the shoe. But what I did was, since I had already bought two of those balloon weights... I just took them out of the bag that they come in because some of them, you know, they come in a bag and, and the balloons are hooked onto it. I took it out of the bag and um, they were already in plastic, but I wrapped them up just so they wouldn't, in, you know, damage the inside of the shoe and cut through or anything like that. So that's weighting the shoe down as well on top of me putting that tape in there. So I think it works out pretty good. I, again, apologize that I didn't do a step-by-step, -step, but it's fairly simple, as you can see here. And I am going to list everything that I use in the description box. And um, I guess that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful, uh, what's soon to be morning, what's soon to be Thursday morning, because I had to get up and go to work, and I'm just trying to get as much done as I can before the weekend comes. So, yeah, there it is. And just so you can get a shot of everything, this is what it looks like. I put that tissue paper in the shoes because I just didn't want them to look so plain. So that's the whole shebang bang on that. I turn her around. Hold on. Give me a second. I turn her around so you can see. That's the back of it. So. And you know what? Now that I see that, I may use, uh, I don't know. I might not put anything back there. I think I'll leave well enough alone. Okay, so that's that. You all have a wonderful night. And uh, hey, you know, as I always say, the more you do things, the better you get. This is my first time doing this. Uh, I was just trying to think of something original to do for him. It just so happened that these shoes happened to be in that suitcase and his birthday happened to be coming up. So have a wonderful night. And until I send you my hellos later in another video, I bid you all a farewell. Okay, so I want to I wanted to add on to the to the video um, one more point. Uh, 
Y'all already know about the lights and all this other stuff that I had gotten and the, all this other stuff. So I have, just so you're aware, I'll tell you this probably at the beginning of this video, just so you know everything I did. So if it gets a little repetitive, that's just, you know what, it, it won't be bad because maybe somebody might be doing something while they're watching this video and they miss what I I'm talking about in the beginning, but I also try, like I said, I'm going to list everything as much as I remember and have in front of me, uh, definitely in the description. But again, this is the box uh, that I purchased, which is the baseball display case. I thought it was more fitting for the shoes. Now, I stuffed tissue paper in those shoes, and I've been thinking about this and thinking, is that what I really want that to look like? So... I didn't want to, uh, you know, just soak a bunch of money into uh, buying, you know, little things. So I stopped by um, the dollar store and bought these little baby washcloths, you know, and they got them blue. So I'm going to stick the washcloth inside of the shoe. I think that'll look a little better and, and it will be a little neater, in my opinion. And I might use both of those washcloths. That's not bad. So I may use that. And uh, like I said, I'll list everything and tell you where I got it from. I just wanted to add that piece on to the video. You already know about the, the um, power that I have to the lights and all that good stuff. So, uh, again, I truly thank you all for watching these videos because I realize that all of us shoot videos differently for different reasons. Uh, whether it be we don't yet have uh, the camera that we desire or we're happy with what we're already using. And right now, I'm happy with what I'm using, but I, I would like something else just because I have some ideas uh, of some other things. I told you y'all this before, but um, that's the bottom, which I tried to show you in the other video, but I want to show it to you again so you can see it in the light. And that's why I say you get it creative and you use surplus items that you have. And since I didn't use the frame, I took the, the glass and put the picture on the back, just beveled it in. I, I I needed something to lift the frame and I kept thinking, I said, well, I, I was talking to my mom and I said, well, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Do I want to put knobs on all four corners or how am I going to do it to lift it up so it'll sit up whether he uses the plug or not? Because he can unplug this. He can unplug this uh, from here um, and I'll show you like this and, and just tuck that cord right up and under there. And he doesn't have to worry about any of that. So I was trying. I'm always trying to make sure I make it very functional and and easy to use, and where you know the stuff can be displayed with or without. So uh, with that being said, thank you again for watching. I can't thank you all enough because I never know what I'm going to do, and uh, I'm 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 enjoying doing things and sharing it on YouTube. Who knew? All right, y'all have a good one because this is Thursday and we're coming up on Friday. Woo woo. All right, I'll holler at y'all. Okay, man. I'm back. Sorry. I decided to go ahead and show you all what the plan is for these. Uh, if I can get this open, what the plan is for this, uh, the tile, okay? Because I just realized that's kind of pointless to you all to tell you that I'm going to, which, I mean, you know, I know you don't have to see every little detail, but, eh, why not? Let's see if I can get this out. They ingeniously put this little thing on here. I'm struggling. Let's see. How do you get this thing off? Okay, I'll tell you what. Not, no longer shall we struggle. I'm going to cut this thing off from here. We got to move on. And the words of Bernie Mac, what Bernie Mac used to say? Let's move on. Okay, hold on. There we go. Free! Excalibur. Okay, let's see. Okay, so, ooh, these are nice and soft, too. Oh, look at here. Okay, so, let's see. And I, I can't maneuver this too much to show you because I've got this, the lighting that I have to be concerned with. But I'm not going to do too much with it. I'm just going to, you know, stick this in here and let it ride. That's, that's all I'm going to do with it. Nothing too spectacular, just enough to make it look, make it look decent, you know? Yeah, because I think that's, that's about all you need right there. That's going to work all right. And then I'll show it to you in just a second. 
Told you, it's about simplicity. We don't, we don't have to spend a whole lot of time on it. You can, you can work it out. Let's see here. Just a second. And actually, I should have done this one like that. Hold on. Put it in there the reverse way. I'm going to do it this way. i get that one. Then kind of flower it out. Because I really was looking for some baby socks. I thought it would be neat to put some baby socks in it. But this, this is okay. This will work too. It will all work out just fine. Okay, now I'm gonna place this right back on here. See, you can't do too much movement with this with the lights. I don't want too much going on. Okay, now let me turn around to you. Now, don't that look better? I think that looks a whole lot better. I just didn't want to block the picture with anything, but I think that'll work. Okay, and we're done. All right, now I'm out of here. Have a good weekend. Okay, so these are like little final snapshots just to show you what the end result looked like. And the only thing I had left to do was to clean my fingerprints off the glass. I put the picture cube in there that I thought I wouldn't be able to put in. And that was it. There's the glass cleaner. But um, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it.